Welcome to the Songwriters Pad Quick Start video for Android. To begin using Songwriters Pad, you'll need to create an account or sign in. After signing in, you'll be taken to your song list. From the song list screen, you can create a new song, create a folder, or open an existing song. I'll open an existing song to demonstrate the key features and layout of the Songwriters Pad app. Notice that the song is organized into sections. These are called song blocks, and song blocks are how you build your lyric into a completed song in Songwriters Pad. To add a song block, tap on the plus icon. You'll have all of these various options, intro, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, and you can even add your own custom block. To write a lyric, tap within a song block to launch it into the editor. It will activate the keyboard for writing. If you write with chords, you can tap chords to add basic chord notation to your lyric. To save changes when editing, you need to tap on the check mark icon to make the save, and it will take you back to the song. Songwriters Pad offers the flexibility to rearrange song blocks on the fly. To do so, tap the pencil icon. To move the verses around in this instance, for example, tap and hold the verse until it is highlighted and drag it into its new position. You also have the option to duplicate a verse, to rename it, or to delete it. At the bottom of the screen, there are tools to help you with writing your lyric. Let's explore them. The first one is the My Ideas tab. Let's tap on it. By tapping on My Ideas, You'll notice that you can generate ideas by mood. Tap on a mood button and it will randomly generate phrases. For example, tapping on desire generates this list of phrases. To add a phrase to our collection, I'm going to tap on what a delicious temptation. And you'll notice phrase added to the my ideas pane. You have the ability to search on rhymes as well. Let's search for the word dream. By tapping on a list in the results, the words will be added to your My Ideas pane. Also included in Songwriters Pad is a dictionary and thesaurus. Let's search on the word beautiful to define it. The definition, having qualities that delight the senses, especially the sense of sight. Let's see if there are similar words in the thesaurus. Yes, delightful, I like that one. By tapping on delightful, I can also get its meaning, and then I can tap on the plus icon to add it to my ideas. Let's navigate back to the song, and now let's look at my ideas, or the ideas that I've collected. And as you can see, here are words, phrases, and rhymes that I have collected. I can also add my own words and phrase ideas in this section. Let's navigate back to the song. Next you'll notice the notes pane. In the notes section I can add the author or the co-author, the start date and the finish date, and other essential metadata. Navigating back to the song let's look at the record feature. This opens an audio pane that will allow me to record, save and playback audio. This is good for capturing vocal or melodic ideas. You can even create multiple takes for comparison. The export feature allows me to export my lyric via email or export it to Dropbox for backup. Let's navigate back to the song list. From the song list I can create a new song by tapping the plus icon and adding a title. After creating the song it automatically takes me into the song and you'll notice that I am prompted to add a song section or a song block. And as demonstrated earlier, you tap on the plus icon and in this case I'll select verse and then I can tap within the verse to write. Let's navigate back to the song and now navigate back to the song list and I'll show you how to create a folder. Tap on the menu icon and select folders. Next, tap on the plus icon and we'll create a folder. We'll call it completed and you get the idea these will be the songs that I have completed. Now let's navigate back to the song list and add the song French Dreams to the completed folder. 
tap on the menu, tap edit, and select the song French Dreams, and then you'll see that there is an option to add it to the completed folder. We'll tap on the check mark to save it, and as we go back to the song list, we'll see that that song has been added to the completed folder. Let's take a brief look at the settings screen by tapping on the menu and settings. You can upgrade the app to unlimited songs or you could restore a purchase. You can also add the author, co-author, and publisher information to the app globally so that each new song that you create will be assigned this information. The same goes for your date and time format. You can select your date and time format globally so that each song listed in your song list will have this format. Let's talk about Songwriters Pad Sync for a moment. Songwriters Pad Sync allows you to back up and sync your songs across multiple devices. So you can start writing on your smartphone, continue on your tablet, and finish on your Mac or PC. Now the Mac and PC versions are sold separately, but as a paid Android user, you can get a very generous discount. Visit songwriterspad.com for more details. And then finally, you have the Dropbox option, which is for export only, meaning that if you wanted to back up a copy of all of your lyrics, just in case your device was lost or stolen, you would have a copy of them there. You cannot import songs back from Dropbox. However, if you were to get a new device or something were to happen to your old one, on your new device, you would simply sign into your Songwriters Pad Sync account and download all of the songs that you've created that would be loaded on your new device. So this completes the quick start video tutorial. And if you need help or would like to suggest a feature, we'd love to hear from you. Tap on the support link to contact us. Thank you for downloading Songwriters Pad and we hope that you enjoy it.